The taco shell is so crunchy. Listen to this. But the single best chicken dish from KFC is the chicken pot pie. I think it was amazing. I know that's not fried chicken. <laughs> But I, I, I'm being totally honest when I say the chicken pot pie is one of the best pot pies I've had. I would eat a whole chicken pot pie right now. Oh, f yeah. It says that you're gonna go on an adventure. Oh my God. Holy, oh everybody, hold up. I ate this first and it said, you are about to embark on a journey that will end with you eating a handmade pot pie. I just got chills. I love those fucking teenager caramel ice drinks. Whether they be frappuccinos, iced cappuccinos, iced lattes, I don't give a shit what it is. They all taste the same and they all taste good as hell. They're good. I liked the mini tacos. I like the taco, okay. Jalapeno popper is a star everywhere I go. I guess it's kind of like, I, I think Jack in the Box is the second best option for wherever you are. I, Jack in the Box, you really are a Jack in the Box where sometimes it's a happy clown, sometimes it's a scary clown. And I felt like the menu was always that. Bouncing around between things that I really liked and things that I really hated. The best of the day is specifically the hamburger patty. It was amazing in the burgers. It was amazing under the gravy. It was amazing by itself. I mean, normally when you get those basic kids burgers or cheeseburgers, you get them because they're plain. But these were not plain. So flavorful, so amazing. They had that Thousand Island type signature sauce on it. The best items were those signature sandwiches. I think the sandwiches were phenomenal. They were exactly what you wanted them to be. You look at them, they're beautiful. They almost look unreal. The turkey it was super great in those sandwiches. I think that the, just the turkey market press sandwich is the best thing they have at Arby's. The best thing from Pizza Hut, I think was the super supreme, the ultra supreme, the extreme supreme. I just think that Pizza Hut is best when it's got the cheese, the vegetables, the meat, the sauce, and the crust. Bada bing, bada bing. The thing I like the most are the kids' taco boxes. So their crunchy taco was actually quite a good shell. Being able to build it myself allowed me to control the portions I wanted. Maybe I want a little chicken, maybe I want a lot of chicken. I feel like a, a, a children's cereal mascot, because I want what the children are eating, not what I've been eating. It was really good. Are you kidding me? Easily the best thing I've had all day. Five dollars? Five dollars. This is a great deal. The number one best was the blue and onion, but everybody knew that. So my real number one best, the kookaburra wings. I just thought they were delightful. Mmm. Holy shit. Wow. You know, I knew that they did like the blooming onion batter fried chicken, like at some point during the pandemic, but it's so good on these wings. It is such a unique wing flavor, and I normally only ever want buffalo wings. These are delicious. I want to have a second. I'm going to have just, I'm just going to make sure the leg quality is good. I'm going to regret this later, but it's so good. The bests. We've got some bests here today. First of all, those hash browns. Easily my favorite thing on the whole from the whole day. But it's called Dunkin' Donuts, right? It's about the coffee and it's about the donuts. The best coffee item, surprisingly enough to me, I think was the Americano. Their espresso was not that bad for a chain and the Americano really made it taste like a pretty good cup of coffee. And that's a lot because I think Americanos are kind of shitty. The best donut? I love the cake, but I just love the cake in general, so I might have given it more credence than it was worth. The munchkins, I think actually, maybe my favorite thing was just the plain glazed munchkin. You know, it's, it's that's as much as I want from a donut typically, and it was really good. It was a good yeast donut, quite tasty. Also shout out to the cake donut, love those. And the breakfast sandwich. The best item I had today, oh, it's tough. You know, I think I gotta hand it to 
the jalapeno line of burgers and chicken sandwiches. Actually, probably the best thing at Wendy's is the bacon. Bacon Fest is here. It is truly the best ingredient they have. Everything the bacon was on was better, and I think that is something that should be praised in a world of fast food where most of the bacon is total horseshit. The sugar cured ham was delicious. What a delicious ham, both at breakfast, both the thicker piece of dinner, it was a great piece of ham. I really liked it. I think the best thing in terms of ice cream are the cookies and cream. I've had a lot of cookies and cream ice creams. I've had some be too sugary. This felt like exactly what you want. There's something simple to the cookies and cream, and it was great in the milkshake. It was great in the ice cream. It was just satisfying. Now, other shout outs. I love the tax crunch. I love the entire idea of a restaurant being like, hey, Hey, tax season, what can we do with it? <laughs> I think that's funny, and it's actually pretty good flavor. And of course, I love me a good banana split. I think it's, they crushed it. It's exactly what it should be. I have to always throw out an honorary best to that chicken sandwich. It is so good every time, so delicious, perfectly fried, so much. Mwah. But I did have a burger today that I think I enjoy better than the normal burger, the Smoke Shack. I thought it was so flavorful. Those peppers, albeit a little too spicy for me, brought so much fun, delicious flavor to the burger. I will say that the spinach and feta and the breakfast burrito are the best breakfast items. You know, the lattes were mostly good. Like, I never get them. I'm always like, no, I don't want a latte. And finally I sat down and I tried them all, and you know what, they're actually pretty okay. The cinnamon dolce is definitely the best flavor spice thing going on there. I think that in your coffee, that in your latte, that in your cappuccino is a great way to go. It was even good in a weird apple juice. That Supreme Club, man, that is a fancy sandwich. That had so much going on. A little too much going on maybe, but it was really good. That goofy Peter guy's special that was roast beef with pepperoni, it was also good. Honestly, it tasted exactly like the roast beef sandwich. The Italian sandwich was excellent. Those various ones that all tasted the same still tasted good. It was ham, ham, ham. <laughs> This hammy, this hammy, kinda like me. One of the best though, that mushroom sandwich. My goodness, I've never chosen one of the vegetarian things as one of my best, or if I have, it's been a rarity. I thought it was really well prepared, tasty, yummy, the bread here is good, getting in Mike's way is the way to go, and overall, I think it was an 80% good menu, and that's a good batting average for those stick and ball players up there in New Jersey. The fish taco, slam dunk, why? Is there a single item out of those 80 some odd items for that fish? <laughs> what? I also enjoyed the burger. The double bacon dell burger is pretty solid. The little egg roll at the end there. Yum, yum, yum. And it sure wasn't bad at all. But my best today goes to the What a Catch sandwich because I have never in a fast food restaurant had a fried fish sandwich that was that good. I thought the fish was super delicious. If I was served that in a bar, I'd be totally content. And that's fast food. So that, you know, a bar is, you know, you got fast food, you got like fast casual, you got bar food, you got real, real restaurant. That's like two tiers of restaurant class above. For the first time ever, I'm going to say that the best thing at Nando's were the salads. And that is because the salads were so good you would expect them to be from a salad restaurant. The fact that a restaurant like that could make salads that good makes me want to endorse the healthy choice. If Popeyes got rid of everything on the menu and only sold a sandwich, I think they'd still have the exact same business. And I love their queso. I took a few sips on that cheese. It was delicious. Mmm, <laughs> that cheese is good. What if we just sipped it? Zazzy. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I think my winner is going to be the mushroom chicken. Terribly named. But I thought it was actually the best balance of salt and sugar and flavors. Number one best, those sexy Italian nachos. The second best of the day, the chacos on ya. And the other one that was the best of the day, the chicken marsala double down with mashed potatoes. There were some bests, okay? The salads. Even though the dressings were wrong, the salads themselves, I think, were some of the best casual American chain restaurant salads that I have had. I think with a few changes of the dressings, they could be the best things on the whole menu. The ribeye steak was perfect. Honestly, I think it was better than the ribeye steak I had from Outback. The best section by far 
were the pastries. The pastries, to me, are really the reason to go to Panera. And I always thought of Panera as a soup and sandwich and salad spot. It's not. It's a pastry place. It's a bakery. And of course it is. They were founded on making bread. This is the Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Brussels sprouts. Home run. Unbelievably good Brussels sprouts. Followed by the steak and the fried fish. The best were the pastas. The pastas in the bread bowl is hilarious. So funny looking, but I thought the pastas were pretty good. I thought the Brooklyn pizza was the best pizza. I thought the thin and crispy pizza was also pretty good. It's gonna come down to what toppings do you like, but I think the Brooklyn pizza itself is the best pizza experience of the day. Obviously, let's just go ahead and get it out of the way. Popcorn is what you should be having. They do it right. It's great. It's delicious. It's fun. You toss it. You spill it. You put it in your mouth by the fistful. It's a great treat. And it's one of the few treats you get to have a bucket of in life, right? You get buckets of fried chicken. You get buckets of popcorn. That's it. One of the few opportunities to really feel like a horse. You only get one life and I'm going to take mine. <laughs>